for an oil change on the duster. Ooh. Welcome back to Bad Tree Productions. We're going to slam some new sparky plugs in her. Six of them, right? Not, you got six? not 16. Not 16, just okay. six. Six. Six copper champions. And throw some conventional oil in her. New filter. Wicks. Of course. We cheaped 51. on the oil, not the filter. <laughs> not the filter. And um, we'll finish the exhaust. All right, well, let's get to it. trip over to Prairie Duchesne, Prairie Duchesne, Canada. So on your slant six, all your spark plugs are going to be on one side of the engine. This side of the engine, right here. See this side? Mm -hmm. There's Here's a spark plug wire right here. Mm -hmm. On the other side of that's the spark plug. <laughs> really? Yeah. And oil filter is also on the same side as the plugs down there. And to get the oil out of said slant six, we have to pop the drain plug off the oil pan. Right? Yeah. Yes. Come on, Jay. Keep your <laughs> mind out of the 80s. <laughs> First try? Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And a light that says quiet on the side. <laughs> Trying to make a movie. Wait, wait, open that little, nope, that one. Yep. The trick is to try to not get oil all, Jesus. Uh, oh. I think it's been a while. A drop on his finger, folks. <laughs> cool. Nary. Nary. What the hell century is that from? <laughs> Late 18th, I believe. Correct me in the comments, everybody. Everybody who ever comments. Clayton County History Hound. <laughs> Correct us, please. And uh, if you're watching this and you want to see some cool videos, Go over and punch in Clayton County History Hound. Uh, he likes to swing coil and look for old coins and whatever else he likes to dig up. It's pretty interesting. Tech tip, if it's been a while since you changed your oil, what I would suggest is pressurizing it with the oil plug out of the pan. I like to use a pool noodle and an air horn. Results may vary. <laughs> That's me there. Don't forget to screw back in your oil plug. Yeah. From where? Hell. <laughs> and remember, cross thread is just like Loctite. I've heard rumors about your detecting abilities using nothing but Loctite at Jeremy. <laughs> Well, you can see the oil filter as good as I can. For me because he said that it reminded him 
of me back in the 70s if I had a mustache back then. Is it going? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Was I even close? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Nice! Nailed it! From downtown. All right. Now, with the foil filter, you usually like to prime them. <clears throat> but I don't see how you no. can do that with this. It'll be fine. What, is it upside down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're kidding me. But I will take some of this used oi. Oi. Put some on my fingertip. Good black oil. And what you want to do is lube your rubber seal here a little bit that you can't see me doing but i'm doing it right there yeah oh what all right then you want to snake it down yeah fiddle whack it down All in way. put it there cross thread it on so what you want to do is put 4.73 liters of oil in your 225 slant 6. This is conventional oil, no synthetic. Pure dinosaur. Yep. Do you want, we can do Jay's tech corner quick. You're the star of the show. <laughs> Don't. Start acting like Don't. it. <laughs> Our audience only wants you. I want my own dressing room. Yeah, well. Pay up, Bob. Get a get a get a, uh, a, a tarp garage from Harbor Freight. We'll set it up. There you go. That'll be your dressing room. We'll put a hot seat out there for you. A little sunbeam. Five quarts, right? Five quarts, right? Right. I don't know. Hey, government. How many quarts of oil does a two twenty five slant six take? According to the U.S. government, a 225 Sun 6 should hold five quarts of oil. What the hell? I had to tell my brother about that. I went to the auction yesterday in mm. Cuba City. So I handed you the breaker bar. It was this long with a half inch extension. It this long. Yeah. <laughs> like for your novelty tools. Yeah. <laughs> you bought in Texas. And then he goes, Oh, you mean like this? And my brother has a 3 8 extension that's like 50 inches long. <laughs> you walk into the, the yeah, lobby, the main lobby, yeah. Yeah. Other side. <laughs> and there's this one bathroom that you can walk into. It's like a family bathroom or whatever, but there's this huge toilet. Hmm. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a <laughs> this toilet. I ain't kidding you. This toilet is this wide. <laughs> And it's the, the, the it's the no, it's no, 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 shower. No. All right, we just got all the plugs slammed back in their holes, and holy cow, is that one right there ever a pain with that coil and alternator in the way? All right, we got all the uh, spark plug wires back on. So the final thing to do tonight is where'd Jeremy go? There he is. Finish the tip. Did you finish the tip? No. I'm about to. One piece. And on low hanging fruit, always try to orientate your clamp so they're not straight down. So they spear what you're going to hit. Right. So the raccoon's really done for. Right. You think the floor jack, we could get it right underneath that? I'm gonna, I want to try it. it. Yeah. Let's try it quick. Bend it a little bit. Better. What does it do? Oh, well, it's probably. About right. Yeah, it work. Stays away from the leaf spring. Mm -hmm. Our fireproof leather glove up there. Mitten. 
mitten, sorry. That's gonna have to do it for now until we get yeah. better piping. Cool. Cool. Fire it up. What? How? Oh, Two's geez. wrong? No, well, it's gotta be. Hold on. I want it here. Okay. <laughs> I think it's five and six, buddy. What? Yep. Hit her, Ty. Because. Six of that was right on. Nice. Sweet. Nice. That was easy enough, though. All right, let's get... start it back up and run yeah. up a little bit. Start it back up. I want to hear an exhaust noise. <laughs> Musky time for a wrap up on this episode of Bad Tree Productions. Success. Empty stall. Another one in and out. The same one in and out. The same one in and out. The majority of one in and out. <laughs> all six plugs changed, all five quarts empty, drained, and replaced. Anyways. Yeah. Next week, uh, I'm supposedly going to look at some J heads. Weather's nice. We're gonna take one of the cars. I fixed the heat in mine today, and Blake's is running phenomenal. Besides the junk carburetor on it. <laughs> it doesn't want to kick down unless it's 180 degrees. I still like it. But yeah, we'll bomb either one of them. I mean, we know the dart is tried and true. It's gone on five hour plus trips. Uh, the dusters never went further than Prairie du Chien. Well, I mean, it did go on that hour and a half trip, but it was on a trailer. It was on a trailer. <laughs> it was. It had a had a little advantage there. Mm -hmm. So, so next week, go after them J heads, and then after. Well, but in the meantime, what do we got too? Uh, J Bo got his brake parts in for the oh. winter beater DAC. Yeah. yeah, there's a part three yeah. to that. So, but we got to just keep pushing on. Rear brakes. You got the whole setup. Raider Rock, so we'll have all the parts, which is nice. Put it all together, and maybe that thing will be done. Drivable, roadworthy, at least done. Right. After that, we'll just see what happens next, but uh, looking forward to the cam swap, top end swap on the dart. I got 360, we gotta go and pull out of a shed that I found. It's a pretty good little motor. Yeah. So. A little reveal for that too. Polaris. Awesome. Oh yeah, there's a uh, the one by side. Yeah, the one by one. The one by one. <laughs> J Bo's got a Polaris Ace, and we're gonna do a how to DIY make a roof for your Polaris on, on the, the cheap. On the cheap. Super cheap. Oh, and we, he's got a plow controls ordered too for up, down, left, right. Yeah, it's a real fancy Polaris. Just plow. like the guys having all their Chevys. Yeah. Or the low riders side to side. Up and down. <laughs> so anyway, hey, thanks for coming back and watching. We appreciate every time you do. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell.